Hey, I'm Ed Lucas, and this crazy guy is my brother friend. And every week we come back and we make another video for you. You could be about anything. A to Z, soup to nuts. We don't, we don't know. know. We don't really know till we get here. We don't even care. Today's episode is episode 63, <laughs> entitled "Marriage and Divorce," and we have a special message, and we'll get that right out to you right after this. Come on back. I want one of those bells. Well, hey, thanks for sticking around. Yeah, today's episode is 63. It's marriage and divorce. Now, first, we're going to start with our special message. Uh, Fred here has been inspired. I have by I you, brother. Fred, right? Yep. And he's gone and done his own channel. Fred right. Lucas. Called, what's it called, Fred? Fred Lucas. That's right. And we want you all to go and check it out. The link for that is right down there. Just scroll to the bottom. All the way down. And uh, I hope you like it. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm kind of eager to see it myself. So it'll be a surprise to us all. All right, so now today's episode. Um, marriage and divorce. Don't throw it up. Uh, I think the divorce rate now is 65 or 67 percent, which is shoelaces. staggering, actually. Um, and I did both. I got married and I got divorced. Only once each. Um, and I don't yeah, regret a thing. Uh, I got two amazing kids out of the deal. And, um, you know, of course, divorce well, is not your goal, right? You know, you want to stay married, but it, it happens. Um, the part about it that bothers me is that when you go to get your license, you know, you have to get a license to get married. It's like you have to get a license to drive a car. But the difference is, you just walk into town hall with your ID and your wife's ID, and you say, hey, you know, we want to get married. Wow, that's so great. We're so happy for you. Oh my God, what a, what a day this is. What a glorious $8, day. And then you get your marriage certificate, and uh, you go and you get married, right? That's Treats it. for Brooklyn. But now, right, years later, things go down the toilet. Uh, you're gonna get divorced. Like I want a divorce. Like, oh, slow down there, cowboy. It's not that easy. You gotta get yourself a lawyer. You have to get the courts involved, and then uh, the whole legal system gets a piece of it. It's ridiculous. And um, you know, they start asking things like, uh, you know, how much do you make, and what's your community property. Uh, you know, you gotta divvy, divvy it up, and I, and I get it, you know, fair is fair, right? You know, Make what you song. acquire together is now community property. But, uh, you know, then there's prenups, but then you hear, oh no, the prenups don't hold up, they, they beat them. It's, uh, it's a rough situation. And uh, now if you have kids, right? Now, in New York State anyway, the, the numbers are, for child support, uh, one kid, it's 17%. I'm that Two children. Good. It's I'm 25%, that percent music and three or more should put out an album 33 percent now if you have nine kids it's actually a pretty good deal it's more than a Brady's nine where it'd be 33 for three also but that's 33 percent of your gross before taxes so basically you make the money they take it off the top give her the money tax free she doesn't have to pay tax on that money that's crazy and crazy. I'm saying she sometimes the guys get the child support sometimes it is a changing uh, world uh, have an anomaly and uh, and and a guy you know Gets custody of his kids. Well, maybe the guy turned into a girl. I'm not even comment gets. on that. Um, good for you if you did that, and uh, you know I'm all for it. But uh, it, it doesn't happen very often. The courts are really uh, but when it does, it seems towards the mother raising the kids. And maybe it's the whole maternal instinct and all that. I, I don't really know what it is. It's but, the boobies. Um, yeah, for 33 percent, man, you got nine kids. Judges That's not, like really not boobies. a bad deal for you. Another thing that I think is a problem, not even that it bothers me, but I think it's an actual problem, is that when you do, like I said before, go for a driver's license, right? You have to take a test. You have to study a book. They tell you a little bit about the problems you'll find out in the uh, on, on the roads and how to avoid them. And uh, you know, and if you get a gun, if you drive a car, uh, fishing license, still you need the education. Driving a boat, you need to take an eight-hour course. You know, it's crazy. So uh, they should have the same thing or more, or more for, for a, uh, a marriage license. You know, I'm sorry, but and I think it should be run by some guy like a divorcee that kind of lost everything. Just to tell you, not necessarily that this is what's going to happen, but <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> when you go into it, you're like, yeah, this is great. We're going to be married. We're going to be, you know, go? go through life together. We're going to grow old together. It doesn't always work that way. And they should tell you, well, <coughs> Magic. If it doesn't go well, which 67% of the time <coughs> it seems to go sour. This is what could happen. You could lose half of your pension, half your house, half your savings. Hide your mother, hide your, your wife. And you could lose a couple of children, one. and you'll have to pay child support. 
you know, and, and alimony if you're married long enough. Yeah, it's a, there's a lot that they don't tell you. And uh, I, I get it, man. You know, you're now you can Google it. When I got married, there was no such thing. But um, it still should be mandatory. You should have to uh, okay it. You know, okay, I, I heard the class. Magic. I, I get it. It's just me. It's just me. It's just you. Um, oh. Someone at work. Hey, Cliff. Uh, he pointed out something to me about marriage. And he said, uh, you know, I'm single. And he knows why I'm single. Right? Because he listens to this guy on the, uh, on the YouTube. Oh, it's Cliff called knows. M-G-T-O-W. MIGTO. You got that right? Not yes. big toe. M-G-T-O-W. MIGTO. Men going their own way. And I watched a couple of these videos the just with Max see what song. he was talking about. Because he talks about it a lot. It's a he-man woman hater club. It's insane. These guys are all bitter, uh, divorced. Uh, they lost everything. It's like it's a, it's the making of a country song. I lost my house, my truck, my car. You know, his backdrop is a stock bar. I'm talking stock liquor bar, beer taps. My kind of guy. I think there's something going on there. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's happy. Might have a clue as to why he's divorced too. Oh, so. He's a drunk. But that's just speculation. Speculation. But anyway. Um, if you want, check it out. M G T O W, Mig Toes. It's <sighs> crazy. So, Fred, you know what to do, right? I Thanks. do. Listen, if you like this episode, hit that like button right there. Of course, subscribe, right? This way, every time we put out a new video, you'll know about it. And if you hit that little bell right there, the blinking bell, every time we do put out a video, it'll send you a push notification telling you, Ed and Fred just put out a new video. I better go see. You do that to my page, too, by the way. Do all three. So, uh, and our email address there too, uh, comments, ideas, um, inspirational messages, requests. Right, Thank you, Fred. And don't forget to check out Ask Fred at Fred Lucas. Uh, it's actually under Fred Lucas. Yes. I'm sorry. The Fred show is Lucas. Ask Fred, but you look under uh, Fred cool. Lucas. Anyway, sorry, buddy. That's all right. They'll find it. They're smart. So, uh, there'll be a link to that below. So just as Fred said, uh, like it, subscribe, hit that little bell. Our email's there. Send us some. Uh, I like this one better. Email some suggestions, ideas. Uh, you have an email, right? I do. Okay. It's uh, ask, Smart guy, ask right? Fred sixty four at gmail oh, Yeah, that's Ed and Fred. Episode sixty three. Thanks for watching. All right, buddy. Thanks. Thank I'm you. Go check out your Thanks site for right plugging now. me. Sorry, man. I didn't do it. It's all right. Either. Not insulted. Just came out yesterday. Thanks for the bell, by the way.